Hello there, everybody. This is you, here and today I have for you another Gen 7 Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon Wi-Fi battle. And this time, this time, I'm trying out the PU tier against my homie Toronto Pure. Yeah, this guy is awesome. He's really great at battling. He's he's just awesome. So, um. I'm just trying out this here for the first time to be honest, um, in Gen 7, I think I already did it in Gen 6, I can't really remember, but yeah, um, turn 1 of this battle I'm gonna make a horrible mistake, that's why I decided to lead with battle 3, I completely forgot that grass type can't be put to sleep with sleep powder, because as you already know, I play all the gens, and when you play all the gens, stuff starts to get mixed up, and you end up sending your own you end up sending yourself a career that's that's what happens but it's all good so anyways as i said that's what i already have planned i was like yay you're gonna go for volt switch i have a focus sash i'm gonna put something to sleep no matter what but then as soon as i saw his little team in the bottom screen i saw livani i was like wait a minute damn and that's gonna cost me big time because he's gonna be able to set up the is sticky web and because of the pokemon logic a little plant thing is faster than a butterfly so he's gonna be able to outspeed me and finish me off so i'm gonna go into gla uh, there, there, my glaceon my glaceon is specs um he's gonna go into lantern i decide to not over predict or just go for ice beam it's gonna hurt anything uh, even though it's a lantern and it's probably especially defensive it does a decent amount of damage so that's how strong Glaceon is. So I'm gonna go into Gastrodon, I'm gonna skillfully dodge his Toxic. I was I was fine with that, I was like, yeah, he, he's not gonna go for a water move. He, he knows I have a Gastrodon, so he's gonna hit his second Toxic as I'm gonna go for the Earth Power. I checked my set, I was like, oh god, why do I have Haze? Why don't I have uh, a status move? Uh, that's what happens when you make a team in like 6 seconds you just grab pokemon and you put them together so i'm gonna predict the, the spirit just like how toronto calls it it's the spirit so I'm, I'm not gonna go for another earth power because another earth power would have hurt his lantern really hard and i was pretty sure that he was gonna want to save it for later so i went for this skull didn't get the burn unfortunately and he's gonna take the opportunity to set up his stealth rocks and that's gonna hurt me big time because i'm not gonna be able to be doing many switches around as easier as before and now he's gonna go for the u-turn and he's gonna go back into his lantern as i just went for another ice beam and it's gonna do a lot of damage so i was like if i'm lucky it might be an, uh, another one might kill the lantern at that point so i'm gonna skillfully dodge another toxic and I'm gonna get the freeze! But unfortunately, it's not gonna kill it, but uh, I said this before, and I'm gonna say it again. Scald is the most broken move in this game. It's gonna melt the ice, and it's gonna get the burn. So he's gonna remove his hacks, and he's gonna hack me instead. <laughs> Which is hilarious. But yeah, the ice beam is gonna be able to take down the lantern, and in comes his Levani. I was like, Glaceon has some decent bulk. He can't take anything, but Leaf Storm? Damn, you definitely got me there. I I wasn't expecting Leaf Storm at all, man. Like, definitely well played right there. So he's gonna go for knockoff, and I'm gonna go for flamethrower because he has a manectric, and I don't wanna deal with manectric. So Livani is finally gonna go down. He's gonna go into his spirit. He's gonna try to bait me into going for an electric move. I'm, I was like, yo, listen. Even though I'm still new at PU, I've been playing this game for a long time, so. That's not gonna work out, my boy. <laughs> Anyways, I'm just gonna go for the Giga Drain. Try to recover some health. And he's gonna go for Flamethrower. That's gonna go a lot. I expected it to do less for some reason, but he already knocked off my leftovers. I tried to go for Flamethrower because it's gonna do more than Giga Drain. Hoping that it will take it out, but it didn't kill it. But it did score the burn. So I was like, wow. That's, uh... I'll take it, I guess, I don't even know. But anyways, he's gonna psychic me with the spirit, and he's gonna take down the the Electros, which looks smaller than it looked back in Gen 5, for some reason. It looks like, I don't know, a little snake, for some reason, I don't... I really don't know. So, he's gonna go for U-turn, I'm gonna predict this again, and I'm gonna go for Will-O-Wisp, 
as he's gonna switch into his scum tank and it's gonna get burned. Uh, I was sure that Pursuit isn't gonna do much after the burn. Um, but it doesn't, yeah, it doesn't do that much. I mean, look at that damage. He, he is indeed gonna try to go for the Pursuit as I try to switch into my Gastrodon. Because Gastrodon does have the Earth power. And yeah, um, I'm gonna again predict the Spirit to come in, but the Spirit is just too good. I, I need to try to do as much damage uh, uh, to the Spirit. I need to take down the Spirit. Because I have Gastrodon, I have Dusknoir, and I have Primeape. And because I'm dumb, my Primeape is Choice Banded. And because of the Sticker Whip, I'm not gonna do anything. That's gonna be the worst Primeape in the history of our sport. So... That's that. So he's gonna go for Psychic. Uh, I expected to take it less than that, but the Spirit is no joke. That thing should... That thing is definitely, like, I think it's too good for PU. Did you guys see that damage? Oh my god. I think everything is too good for PU. Gastrodon is too good for PU. Hitmonchan is too good for PU. Everything is too good for PU. Even Dust Noir is too good for PU. I think even Dusclops is PU for some reason. I don't even know what's wrong with Smogon these days. <laughs> Who am I to judge? I don't even have Shadow Sneak on this set, because... I wasn't expecting this, and I'm still new to the tier, so... What can I say? So Nightshade, expecting the switch, trying to do as much damage as possible to the scum tank. And at this point I think I can't really do much because, like I said, it's Banded Primeape. And Mesprit is there, so what am I gonna do to Mesprit? Like, I have nothing to do to the Mesprit, so I'm just gonna try to take... Um, to do as much damage as possible to the scum tank. And... get a kill! With, it, with my Prime Ape, and yeah, even though this feels like it was a little bit one-sided, I definitely try to do my best. And I wanna try to improve with this here, which is PU. I definitely had a lot of uh, a lot of fun on this battle because, I mean, it's it's really cool. I I, I, I need to get back into this tier. It's a really cool tier. It's not. It doesn't have too much broken stuff like, for example, all you or or, or you you. But yeah. So in comes my choice banded primeape, uh, Defiance is gonna give me the boost and Sucker Punch isn't gonna do much, Close Combat is gonna finish off the Scum Tank and the Mesprit is... I think even after Sticky Web, I think uh, even if I was Choice Scarf, Mesprit would have still killed me because that's that. Also, I'm using another Citra emulator. By the way, Al Carrer. I haven't said it yet. Mespre is gonna send Primeape Al Carrer. But yeah, good game, uh, Toronto Pure. I'm using another Citra emulator. It's. I think it looks better, but I'll let that to you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll try to get better at the tier, and I will see you guys next time. Have a wonderful day, and allons-y!